Hey guys, so I just wanted to start this video by saying I apologize about the pink polish you see everywhere on my cuticles. I just got into a fight with a bottle of pink nail polish that just kind of exploded everywhere. So it's all over the place. So I just realized the whole time I was painting my other hand and drawing them, I wasn't recording. So here I am drawing my other hands. And then after that, we are going to do the all dazzle. We're going to be doing some dazzling here on my nails. Little sparkles. Do something a little different with this gorgeous purple. So I have these bowls. I actually learned this trick from, uh, I believe it was Susie Nail Education. So you don't waste them. So I'm actually going to be using these. I also got this idea from her as well. So we're going to try them. Um, I'm going to use some gym gel, something that's a little bit thicker than normal. That way they can sit in it. And then I did do a top coat over the nail, so I will, I'm gonna file that just to buff away the shine. So that way it sticks. So as you can see, I did take away the shine. So this is a two part gel. It's super thick. And then you just put your top coat on top of it after you put this on the nail and then you put it into cure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I've never actually used this gel before. I'm actually super excited about trying it. Um, I read a lot of really good reviews. Now make sure when you're doing this, don't forget to cap the edges. Sometimes those little rhinestones, I mean, I'm used to using bigger ones, but I'm going to assume they're not going to stick that well to the tip of the nail. So that way the color of the nail itself does not fade. And this is why I did the cup, so that I didn't waste them. And I'm just going to push them into the gel and pull off, since they're sticking to my fingers, the ones that are sticking up and not actually sticking into the gel. So I'm just going to put them in a bowl. And the ones that are on my skin, I'm going to pull off as well. 
Let me see one song that I missed. I don't know how good of an idea it is to brush over this with a brush. Uh, maybe to like pull the excess ones out. Don't know how well that will work, but I'm going to try it anyways. It looks like a lot of them did stick to the tip as well, and they did end up sticking in my brush, so please do not do that. That was a bad idea. All right, and then I'm just going to cure that in the light. Now that it's done drying, I am going to do my other finger. I'm trying not to show you guys. I really want to kind of save that surprise till the end, but I wanted to make sure those of you who actually wanted to learn how to do this or don't know how to do this will learn with me. Now, you can see that this gel is super thick. I don't think I've ever worked with something this thick of a consistency. I don't even think my builder gels are this thick, but I also don't use proper builder gels either. Most of my nails are done in acrylic. So and what I'm going to do, the biggest reason I did the bowl is so that I could reuse the ones that didn't get on my nail. That way I do not have to waste the jar. Because I can't imagine what it's going to be like to try to get these back in the jar itself. So the ones that are going to be left in these bowls. And then I'm going to put this one in the lamp. I really just want to get in here with my brush and like knock a bunch of them off for the ones that aren't really sticking or that are layered on top of each other. But as you know, I tried that already and it didn't look that great. But then some are just sticking in awkward places, like making this extremely high. But I'm going to dry it and I'll be right back. And this is what the finished look looks like. I actually really like this. I know people are going to comment and ask why I have different shapes. I'm still really learning my shapes, but I really love this design and don't mind the pink polish. Like I said earlier in the video, me and a bottle of gel polish got into a fight, but I love these nails. I hope you guys do too. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.